Okay, well, this is a general area of research that has to do, uh, like in biology, is called segregation. Uh, in finance, appears sometimes in area called price formation. Uh, in physics, is particle annihilation. But mathematically, the mathematics is sort of as, as everything in mathematics has a little bit of universality, and so the mathematics involved in describing this. Uh, different areas is, has some similarity and it has to do with, uh, as the name indicates, it has to do with the case where you have a species that compete uh, for some space or uh, particles that uh, annihilate on contact or cases of uh, buyers and sellers that uh, have to come together to some agreement. Uh, so, so this is, in some sense, the, the general, let's say, mathematical uh, uh, perspective on that. And so one tries to find uh, what are reasonable models, what do you expect if the models, in some sense, uh, shows you the phenomena that you expect to see, uh, you know, how the, how the resulting evolution uh, will be sort of is the general mathematical idea of modeling and prediction and if the prediction is bad correcting and so on. <laughs> I think uh, mathematics in, the, in particular in the last uh, few 30 years or 40 has had this trend of uh, being you know, more northern mathematics, the sciences have have this trend of mathematizing everything, you know, in other words, they discover, I think it's, this thanks to the powerful uh, the possibilities of simulation with complex computing programs and parallel computing and so on, all of a sudden the, sci the sciences discover the virtue of modeling. Before people will just, mathematics will write a model, but you could not compute any particulars, any nice solution, right? So, I do the model of fluid, I the flow around, but you really cannot show the flow. You wrote the equations and nothing happened. But now you write the equations and you can predict, and so you can predict two more growth, you can predict uh, uh, the behavior of semiconductor, of a plane or whatever. And so there is this uh, mathemat mathematic mathematization of science uh, that I think is permeating everywhere. And so. What I did is just like it is in a tiny corner over there, but the big picture is very beautiful, and it is this fact that mathematics is sort of like renewing itself constantly. Oh, it's going, it's going to expand forever. I mean, it creates constantly new mathematics, you know, like uh, uh, you know, uh, uncertainty quantification. You know, we have. Uh, many phenomena which are vaguely similar and you know so what is the probability that this is going to happen to me right uh, this is a part of mathematics that again is flourishing because it is all because it's all it's all linked to the possibility of simulation because now they can do a simulation of random processes that you know can give different results each time but that they can tell you something or they can ana analyze you know, enormous amount of data and start to find structures hidden in them. So, so I think if people is willing to call that mathematics, which I do, mathematics is going to be forever and wider and wider. It's not going to be necessarily, which is very good, confined to the professional mathematicians. In other words, that you know, biologists and engineers and people in finance and in the social sciences want a piece of the action because this is really something important for them. Well, <laughs> well when I was a kid I like I like math and physics and engineering and I remember I uh, we went with my friends in the last year of high school we went to the three to the faculty of engineering and physics and mathematics and see what happens and we like physics and mathematics more but we, probably because we didn't see the right classes of engineering, because engineering can be very exciting. But we like physics and mathematics more, and it's a historical fact. I started the university the year after, as the military took over the university, in year 67. 
And so most of the physicists and mathematicians was a very good department left. And there were only left a few physicists and mathematicians who were all very young and very dedicated. And so I did both for a two or three years. And finally at the end I said I like mathematics best. <laughs>